Hello everybody and welcome to lesson four of Ava, the WhatsApp agent. And as you could probably guess by the title of this video, this lesson is going to be all about voice, both in regards to how we process the voice that we send via the voice notes to Ava, and then how she can answer back to us with another voice note. So for that, we're going to start by reviewing this nice diagram that Miguel has prepared, that is going to be all about the voice flow. Then I'm going to tell you briefly about both um, STT models, which are speech to text models. So th those would be the input models and TTS models or text to speech models, which would take care of the output audio. After that, we're going to review the code. Uh, we have prepared two different modules, one for TTS and the other one for SST. And the code is quite, quite easy to understand and to follow. So we'll have a look in, into that. And finally, I'm going to give you an overview of the 11 Labs platform or, or the web app. That is quite amazing, actually, because it, it allows you to create synthetic voices just for a, from a prompt, or it also allows you to clone your own voice by just giving a couple of seconds of your own audio, of your own recording, and many more things like voice changing or generating sound effects. So what happens then when we send an audio via WhatsApp to Ava? So what happens in the background is that we are obtaining this WhatsApp file from WhatsApp Cloud, we get that into our local machine and we use Whisper to transcribe the audio. And we use Whisper via Grok. Uh, I'm going to explain you um, a little bit about why we use Grok and why we use Whisper as a model. Then once we have that transcription, where we have the text message, we process it via our brain, via our Landgraph graph. And we process it just essentially as you would, as we would process also just a plain message that you would write in WhatsApp. So to get the response, we use the Llama 3.3 model via Grog, uh, which is something we already covered in lesson two. So if you didn't see that lesson, so you should watch that one. And after that, we are enriching the context of the message uh, by just checking the long-term memory and the short-term memory. For that as well, check the previous lesson on, on memory. But yeah, essentially after that, what we do is, we once we get the response, what we get that text message, what we do is we do the TTS. So we convert that text to a speech. And we do that by using the 11 flash uh, 2.5 model from 11 labs, which is actually especially designed for kind of like conversational applications because it's quite, quite fast and still uh, the quality is really good. And finally, once we have that audio, uh, what we do is we upload that to WhatsApp cloud so that then it appears in WhatsApp. So in short, if we simplify that diagram even more, what we have is this. So we have firstly the part in which we do a speech to text, also called automatic speech recognition. And we do this by using the model whisper. Then after that, so once we have um, computed the text, what we do is text generation as always. Um, for that, we use uh, the model Llama 3.3. And then finally, once we have that generated text or that um, response text, what we do is TTS, which is text to a speech. And for that, we use uh, 11 labs. So why these two models? So why Whisper for, for SST and why 11 labs for, for TTS? So in short, I will tell you is because they are the best, but instead of just telling you that, what I'm going to do today in this video is going to, I'm going to show you a different resources that I use to decide or, or to select the best model for each task. And I usually do that by just checking different leaderboards. So the one that I have here, which is from artificial analysis, I think is just the very best one because it has these very comprehensive um, diagrams in which they show um, the accuracy against the price and, and different and different other metrics. And here at a glance, uh, you can see which are the models that have um, the lowest error rate and also the speed factor. So speed is of course very important. And if we look at the diagram over here, what we see is just many, many different mentions to the model Whisper. So why? Uh, Whisper is a model uh, generated, so created by OpenAI, but uh, they open source it. Uh, I think it's one of the very few things that uh, OpenAI has open source. And that allows for different companies to build solutions on top of it. So um, the one that, um, that we're currently using in this project is Grok, because they offer a free API key and it's one of the best ones. But right now they are um, so many different um, inference providers are competing just to get Whisper as fast as possible. And right now, for example, uh, it seems like the fastest one is via Fireworks. But still, Grog is very, very fast, as you can see, at 200 um, input audio seconds per second, which is crazy. 
So this is one way for me to usually just check um, which models to use for each task. Another one that I really like is to have a look at Hugging Face leaderboards. Here we, we have uh, the OpenAI Whisper Latch model that we are using right now, and you have different other models. So it seems like in this um, leaderboard, the Canary 1B model from NVIDIA is the very best. But to be honest, I'd never, never use it because I think Whisper, the Whisper model is the standard and the ease of use via these uh, inference providers is just great. Then as for text-to-speech, uh, we have, of course, a level lapse here being one of the best ones. So it seems like by, by these standards, the um, OpenAI text-to-speech is the very best in quality. But uh, we actually went for a level lapse not only because of how good it is, which is in my, in my opinion, so to my ears, uh, the best sounding one in terms of like how natural and human-like um, the voices sound, but also because of their developer experience. So just how easy it is just to get the API key and just get uh, your your text uh, generated into, into voices. And also all the features that they offer, for example, um, cloning your own voice or creating a synthetic voice only from a prompt. And I'll show you all that in a couple of minutes at the end of this video. And if we look at these other graphs, we can also see that uh, level of is still quite fast, You're generating 365 characters per second of generation time. But in terms of price, it's definitely not the best. Uh, but as I said, I think due to all the features that they provide, I think the price is still quite good. And if you don't want to spend a cent, you have also the option of using open source models. So here, for example, we have the Kokoro model that was released, I think, a couple of weeks ago. And as as in this ranking appears, it's just one of the best. And I've heard it and I've heard how it sounds and it sounds really, really good. But again, uh, just the ease of use of a level ups, I think, in my opinion, wins at this point. And you can find the links to all of these leaderboards and all these websites in the video description below. And also, if you want to read about this thing and just learn even more, I'm going to leave as well the link to Miguel's newsletter in the description so you can just follow everything that we have seen in this lesson, but also but in, but in his article. And now let me quickly give you an overview of the code, which is honestly super simple. So we have two different modules. So we have the uh, text-to-speech module and the speech-to-text modules, both under the speech directory. In and since both these services uh, use uh, API keys to actually do the hard work, uh, the code itself is just very little. So, so what we do in the case of the text-to-speech is we use uh, the Level Labs library that you can just uh, pip install it and, and import it. And then you simply use that client, no, that the client that you instantiate via the library, and you just use generate, you just give the text, you select the specific voice that you want this audio to have. So in our case, we created a synthetic voice of how Ava we think it should sound. And, and we use that voice via the um, voice ID. And that would be all actually. Then we just generate the bytes uh, object um, from this generator and we send that to the WhatsApp handler, which is something that we will see in lesson six. So everything about WhatsApp and how everything works with WhatsApp Cloud will be explained in that lesson. And then for a speech to text, what we do is just something similar. So in this case, we use the Grog library and we, again, instantiate um, a client object. So once we have this client, what we do it's just something very, very similar. So we use just uh, one function that they offer, which is the transcriptions create. And what we do in this case is just the contrary, right? What we do is we send an audio file. We specify which model we want to use. Of course, it's going to be the uh, Whisper Latch model, as we said before. And we also uh, tell the language that we're using so that this could help, I think, um, it is actually not mandatory to to give the, the the language, and the result of this call is just the transcription, so the the text. Um, so that would be all. So you would just return that, and the execution would just continue uh, by just generating the 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 message from this text, right? And finally, I want to give you a quick overview of our Eleven Labs or on the Eleven Labs platform. So, well, this is just the the landing page or the main page. I think here you can already test out the text-to-speech. So maybe we can just do that already. So we can just click play and we should- The 11 Labs voice generator can deliver high quality human-like speech in 32 languages. 
Exactly. So, um, so we already got that, and, and actually the, the the quality of the voice was was incredible. Was, was really good. Um, and here you can just select the different different voices. For example, Charlotte or, or, or Brian. So this this would be voices that are already generated by them. The Eleven um, Labs voice generator can deliver high quality. Exactly right. But let's just go to the app so I can just show you a couple uh, cool features. So I think the features that we are mostly interested in for, for the purpose of, of this uh, demo and this project, or AVA, I think is the text-to-speech uh, that we saw before. So here, uh, we not only have the option of going and using those um, library voices, you can also uh, create or use your own voices. So for example, we have AVA here, which is the, the voice that we're using in the project, and we have the models. We have the multilingual model, which is kind of like the, the, the best model, so the highest quality, and also the flash model, which is cheaper, and, and also it's just, it's just it's faster. So this is the one that we use uh, in, in WhatsApp in the app. But maybe just for now, we can just um, click on, on multilingual, just select this one, and we can use, um, yeah, for example, this is just one message that uh, Ava told me uh, a couple of uh, days or weeks ago in WhatsApp. So we can just generate the speech. Alex Garland, yeah, he's a genius. Ex Machina and Annihilation, both mind-blowing films. Exactly. So that's that's amazing, right? So the video that was generated was actually respecting all those uh, commas and, and exclamations. So really, really good. So here as well in this page, you would have the option to, for example, change the speed or the stability or the similarity, but I think right now it's just as default and it works quite well. And then the other thing that I wanted to show you um, is actually how to create these voices. So you have these voices here um, that we just can use click and then these are the different ways for you to create a voice. So we, for example, created Ava by designing a voice. So this allows to, to just write a prompt. Uh, for example, this is the one that comes by default now that, that we're testing. And then you just generate a voice and, and you use this text to, to preview the voice. And just let's use here um, what it sounds. The night air carried whispers of betrayal, thick as London okay. fog. I okay, that doesn't the sound night air so good. Whispers of betrayal, I like this one a bit better. Fog. I adjusted my cufflinks. The night air carried whispers of betrayal, and thick as London fog. And this one I think is really good. I think this one was was the best one. So what you get is just three different voices, so kind of like in mid-journey that you, that you get uh, four images or something, or three images. Here uh, you get three different uh, voices. So you could select that voice, give it a name, and just continue to use it. And the other super cool feature that I wanted to show you was the, the actual um, instant voice clone, so that you, you can just record an audio of yourself so it would generate so it would clone your own voice so we can just uh, test this out so only 10 seconds of audio are required let me just read this for example so avoid noisy environments check microphone quality use consistent equipment okay you just read a couple of things and, and and it seems like i already have already 21 seconds of audio and this is already ready so um, i think if i continue to record more audio that would increase the quality but let's just try and see what happens now so we just need to fill a couple of things so we can just put my name and then I was talking in English and the description is just me, my clone, and I can just accept that. And let's try out my voice. Let's just try to generate a, a, an audio with the voice Jesus Copado. So let's just try this same uh, prompt. Alex Garland, yeah, he's a genius. Ex Machina and Annihilation, both mind-blowing films. Okay, that didn't really feel like me. Maybe it's just because the speed is a bit too high. Uh, I think it was at one. I don't know. We can just maybe try to increase or change a couple of things. Similarity high. Let's try to gener regenerate that one. Alex Garland? Yeah, he's a genius. Ex Machina and Annihilation, both mind-blowing films. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I don't think I sound quite like that, but... But I, I can see the resemblance. Uh, but yeah, do consider that this was just uh, the the voice that was cloned by just giving 20 seconds of my of my own recording. So probably if I just give a couple more minutes, uh, the quality would be better. So yeah, really cool. And if you want to try Level Labs yourself, I'm gonna leave a, a link below in the description so that you can 
just uh, directly. And that was all for lesson four. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that uh, you learned a couple of things and just let me know in the comments as always, as always, if you have any doubts or if you want to, if you want me to kind of like dig deeper into something that wasn't clear in this video. And of course, if you like the video, I would appreciate a lot if you can just give it a like and, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye-bye um, and, and see you in the next lesson.